Nowadays, everyone pursues an ideal and healthy lifestyle. Data shows that seven out of ten people go to gym and exercise daily. Hey Siri, show me the closest twenty-four hours fitness. I try to get in here every day. I just want to be as fit as I can. There are so many workout places around us. All the little details in daily life keep reminding us. Don't be overweight, and it became a nightmare to some people. It's definitely a push to to be in shape, to be you know not overweight, to have muscles and all that stuff. I mean, you just see it everywhere in society. A journal statistic shows that at least forty million people of all ages and genders suffer from an eating disorder in the U.S. Ten percent are male. Many males don't get help. They consider it a female illness, and they're ashamed to ask for help with it. It took me a month to work up the courage to go over there, because just walking into a place and and saying I need help is、uh, and admitting you have a problem to complete strangers. It's it's a very intimidating thing. Data shows that brain changes when we starved. Making it almost impossible to let the patient, him or herself, realize that they are not healthy. When an individual loses too much weight, as they also lose too much weight in their brain, brain can shrink by 25 percent, and that then can make you very obsessive and compulsive. Anyone with anorexia is going to become depressed. Many patients believe that they will never fully recover from anorexia. Because of the negative changes on their bodies and brains, so that they feel depressed and hopeless. Many people might have this question in their minds: Is it possible to recover from anorexia? Recovering from anorexia will be a long process that requires not only a professional and qualified team, but also the love and support from family and friends. Dave is a patient who suffered from anorexia. And people say to me now, "Are you over it?" And I know that this is something that I'm going to have for the rest of my life. But the real question is, can I deal with it? And I can deal with it now because I can talk about it, and I want to talk about it and show that it's nothing to be ashamed of. And I want to talk about it so that we can help sufferers.